Yo, what's good, people? This your boy, Authentic973. This your boy, The Price 57 on YouTube. The best nigga making beats since the best nigga making beats, aka Mr. Click Clack. Bang. Y'all already know I'm bringing y'all NBA 2K13. This is Tip Off Tuesdays. We playing my team. This is episode 20. We moving. Let's go. I'd like to give a shout out to all the new subscribers, everybody that's been here from day one. I appreciate y'all. Got a great do you think. This is really, this is, I know I say that every episode, but this one right here, I think, is really, a really, really good one. And um, I really want to know what you guys think about this player and their current situation. So, um, y'all already know I got, we in Brooklyn in the gameplay. I'm rocking my Nets uniforms. I'm playing dude that got on the, the gray Houston Rockets um, jerseys. Um, this was a great game right here. So I decided to bring y'all this um, footage. But the do you think for this week is do you think Dwight Howard should re-sign with the LA Lakers? Do you think Dwight Howard should re-sign with the LA Lakers? Now this right here, a lot of people was uh, asking me to do this one. I wasn't going to do it because I personally think Dwight Howard is going to re-sign. Oh my God, look at Chris Wilcox. I personally think Dwight Howard will resign with the Lakers because if he resigned with the Lakers, he actually get an extra thirty million dollars more than if he signed anywhere else. I per I don't think he want to be with the Lakers, but I think that money is too much to turn down. That's what I think. Um, if he signed with Houston, I think he can get up to eighty million dollars or eighty-eight million dollars, and if he signed with the Lakers, I think he can get. I think 119 or 120 million dollars. I know it's an extra 30 million if he stay with the Lakers than if he resign with another team. So I wanted to know what you guys think. Me personally, I don't think Dwight want to be in LA because I don't think Dwight one can handle the pressure. Two, I don't think Dwight Howard um can deal with Kobe Bryant. Like Kobe Bryant is is a guy that I think like. If, if he don't care who you are, he don't care if you're another superstar, he's going to get in that ass. Like, if you're not playing up to par, he's going to, he gets on power all the, all the time. And power to me is is a solid big man. I mean, look at the big men in the NBA. Like, there's no big man. And for the Lakers and Coach um, Dan Tony not to know how to use Dwight, and great defense right there by me, by the way. For him not to know how to use Dwight, look at LeBron. Oh my gosh, look at LeBron. But for him not to know how to use Dwight and Powell in the same um, offense, like when you got two big seven footers like that, I think Dwight like six eleven, but seven footers. Oh my gosh, look at Ross, <laughs> Ross. But for Dan and Tony not to adjust his offense so Dwight and Powell Gasol could coexist, to me that's like that's like. That's like him not being a good coach. Like, I'm not, I don't want to say Dan Antonio is a bad coach. But to me, he's not. If you can't make those players work, I mean, look, they got like three three all-stars. They got Dwight, Gasol, and Kobe. There's no way they should be like the seventh or eighth seed. And I know a lot of y'all going to say in this, a lot of y'all going to say, well, you know, that was their first year playing together. Chemistry, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Whatever. They still shouldn't have been the eighth, seventh, or sixth seed in the West. Oh my God, that's you know that's cash, that's cash rules right there. Excuse me, that's cash rules right there. But personally, I don't think Dwight. I don't. I don't think Dwight like Kobe. I don't. I really don't think Dwight like Kobe. And I think Dwight. I'd rather be. I don't know if you guys ever heard the saying, uh, a big fish in a small pond than a, you know what I mean, than a small fish in a big pond. I don't know if y'all ever heard that saying, but I think Dwight, Dwight would rather be a big fish in a small pond like like Orlando. Like to me, Dwight should have just stayed in Orlando because Orlando is a, is a decent sized market, but it's not New York, L.A., Chicago, Miami. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody really checking for Orlando. Orlando had that nice little run when they went to the finals, and and even back then with Shaq. When they had Penny in them, they had a nice little rumble. Orlando was never like a big market. They tried to sign Grant Hill. Well, they did sign Grant Hill and they did sign T-Mac. But because of injuries, that really didn't pan out. And Grant Hill went on to 
still playing the league with other teams, but he just cannot get them injuries right in Orlando. But I don't want to get off topic. I want to know what you guys think about Dwight Howard. Like, do you think Dwight Howard should resign with the Lakers? Do you think he want to resign with the Lakers? Do you think Dwight Howard know what he want to do? <laughs> For real, like Dwight Howard is, to me is the most confusing player in the NBA. He say he want one thing. He say, "Oh my God, Novak is going ham." He say he want one. Y'all see, and I was down big too, man. But Dwight Howard say he want one thing, then he do another, then he say he want the other thing, and then he do the thing that he said he didn't want in the first place. He didn't want to be in Orlando, but then he he signed the. Uh, like he like waved the um what what was the thing he signed like the extra year like like Dwight get your mind right get your mind right like if you was in the locker room with Dwight you'd just be looking side eye at Dwight like do you even know what you want to do B like what do you want to do B like he don't even know man but I would love to know what you guys think about Dwight Howard for real but we're gonna get into the gameplay I see it's the fourth quarter. He's still yanking them threes. We, oh, my gosh. Look at that. Is that Dwight? Yes, that is Dwight. <laughs> but you see, he's up 50 to 46. So we're trying to get this comeback popping. So we come down. Klay Thompson trying to get the pump fake. Passes to Kyrie. Kyrie bangs that. We needed that, too. That's big. And y'all going to get to see the stats at the end, of course. Y'all already know how I do. <laughs> um, this, dude, this dude was pretty much a good opponent, though. Nice little... Um, fade away he took right there I think that was Patty Mills LeBron James Oh my gosh LeBron James I don't even think he got the ac acrobat signature skill on Crazy But you see me trying to set up the offense Y'all told me to slow my offense down So that's what I'm trying to do Oh my god look at Kyrie with the status stat Beautiful And he just laid it up on Dwight Dwight get your weight up down there against Going against Kyrie Get your weight up so you see me trying to still make substitutions. He running the play. My man's there standing. Look at me. Still doing what I do. Still doing what I do. <laughs> he got, he, yo, this dude right here was one of the few dudes that knew that I had played against. That I played against. Excuse me. That had LaMarcus Aldridge. That, know, that knew he knew how to play with LaMarcus Aldridge. Like, oh my God. Look at, Le, look at LeBron. Look at LeBron. But he's definitely one of those guys that knew how to use LaMarcus Aldridge. A lot of people don't know how to use LaMarcus Aldridge. LaMarcus Aldridge kind of remind me of like a Zach Randolph type. Like he ain't really, he ain't really super athletic. He ain't really doing nothing spectacular. But he's a he's a solid NBA big man, and he gonna get you twenty and ten. And you be like, at the end of the game, you be like, yo, how the hell did he have twenty and ten? It didn't even look like he played. That's the type of player Zach Randolph and LaMarcus Aldridge is. Or, excuse me. Um, he comes down. You see, I'm up one. He's trying to get that three popping with Steve Nash. Oh, my God. Good defense, Dwight. Oh, we couldn't get the rebound. And he gets the tip to go. So, he's up one with one minute and 30 seconds left. LeBron coming down. He could. Oh, my gosh. He splits the D and goes right to the cut. He goes right to the cut. If you want to get LeBron in the lane, you know LeBron going to take the lane. So, here's LeBron said, watch this. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at what his LeBron did. Just ran over Novak. <laughs> his LeBron just ran over Novak. So he, he gets the free throw to go. He's up two. We had to call timeout right then and talk about it. For real. It was 115 left. We get we get the nice pass from LeBron to Dwight. Dwight gets the layup to go to tie the game with a little over one minute to go. He comes down with Nash, couple of dribble moves, passes to LeBron. You know, LeBron is a tough out, man, when you're playing. Oh, my gosh, good block right there. Terrence Ross, oh, take that. Take that. That Y'all going to say that's cheesy? I don't give a fuck. I was trying to get the win. I was scared to sell right there. <laughs> oh, man, but he kept doing this nonsense all day. He was a, he was a solid opponent. I ain't going to front. But I know pulling up with Novak was kind of cheesy, but oh my gosh, look at this guy. But you know, I couldn't have took I couldn't have took Novak in there with uh I couldn't have took Novak in there for a layup. That junk would have got blocked. For real. Look at Kyrie pass to LeBron. LeBron trying to go right to the cup and boom! There goes LeBron! LeBron is a man down there. 
So as you see, we up one. This game was tight right here. He's playing the foul game. We got to make those free throws. We make the free throws. He's up. I'm actually up three, excuse me. He pulls a three with Novak. No, his Novak misses. Thanks, God. Thank God. Thank God. And look at Clay Thompson. Let's go, Clay, with an easy layup. Ten seconds left. That's pretty much the game, folks. We get the tip pass right there. I thought we was going to pick up the loose ball. But he pulls. Oh, I thought he was going to pull it with Reddick. Great defense. We scrambling out there. He pulls a three with Bonner. Bonner makes that, and that's the game, folks. But let me know about the do you think. What do you guys think about Dwight? This your boy Authentic 973. It's your boy LaPaz57 on YouTube. Y'all can comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. Y'all see, I only took 15 threes. He took 18, 18 threes. Not, not bad. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of worse, a lot more worse guys out there that take crazy ass threes. But I appreciate all y'all, man. Y'all know how I end my shit. Bang.